Number 35. Determine the percent ammonia, which is NH3, in CONH36Cl3. And we need it to be in three sig figs or three significant figures. Okay. So we basically have to find out the percent of ammonia in this whole entire thing. Well, remember, a percent, right? A percent in general is always just a part divided by a whole times 100, right? So in this case, what is the part that we're looking for? They want us to determine the percent of ammonia in the whole entire compound. So it seems like the part would be ammonia and the whole would be the compound, right? So let's just write this a little bit more, you know, nice. So basically what we're doing is we need to find the percent ammonia, which is NH3, and we need to find the amount of ammonia. So amount of NH3, that's the part. And we're going to be dividing that by the total amount of the entire compound, which is CO, NH3, 6, Cl3. And then just like with any percent, we always just multiply by 100. Okay, but now where are these numbers coming from, right? We don't have any numbers really. So let me just move this over a little bit. Okay, perfect. We don't have any of these numbers. So we go to the periodic table. So get out your periodic tables out. So what we need to be doing is we need to find the total amount of this compound, right? But I'm going to do it a little bit differently here, mainly because we want to find out the part NH3. So what I'm going to do is on this side, on the left side, I'm going to just write out the, for the formula, right? The whole entire compound is this cobalt with NH3, and there's six of those, and then Cl3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the elements and group the thing that I want. So I'm going to keep NH3 together, right? Usually we do each element at a time. If you guys have been on the playlist and if you want to check out the playlist for all these, uh, there's a, I think a link in the video at the end on like the end screen. So you guys can check out the playlist there if you guys aren't on it already. So I'm going to keep the NH3 together, but then I'm going to separate out the cobalt, the CO and the chlorine, the Cl. So let's do it. So I have cobalt, I have NH3, and I have chlorine. Now remember, for this step, I have to find out how many of each I have from my compound. So let's start with cobalt. It's just CO, right? There's no number here, right? It wasn't CO2 or CO3. So there's a secret one here. So I have only one cobalt. Now for ammonia, which is the total NH3, how many NH3s do you have? Well, I can't count this three because the three is part of the NH3, but I see that I have this in parentheses and there's a six outside. So technically I have six NH3s. So I'm gonna put that down. And then for chlorine, I see that I have a three here. So there's three chlorines. Now for each one of these, remember we always multiply by the molar mass of what was stated. So in this case, I'm gonna go on the periodic table and see what the molar mass of cobalt is. Now your number doesn't have to exactly match mine, it just has to be very, very close. You can round if you want. I'm just gonna do the exact numbers that I see on my periodic table. So in my periodic table, cobalt is 58.93. And the unit is grams per mole. Okay. Now for ammonia NH3, we're going to have to do like a formula inside of a formula. Now in this case, we have to find out what the total mass of NH3 is. So I'm going to take that six and times it by what the molar mass of NH3 would be. Now keep in mind that it's a nitrogen and three hydrogens. I have only one nitrogen in NH3, right? So one nitrogen on the periodic table would be 14.01. And then I have to add it to the three 
hydrogens. There's a three here. This three goes with the hydrogen. And my hydrogens on the periodic table is 1.008. Now, let's just simplify this, right? This is basically saying N and then H3, right? You're adding them together. So let's just see what that is. So 14.01 plus three times 1.008. So I get 17.034. So I'm just going to erase this, pause if you need to write it down. But this whole thing is equal to 17.034. And that's in grams per mole. And maybe I'll do this, I'll say that this is cobalt, this is NH3, right? Or actually, we'll do, we'll do that at the end. Let's just find out what Cl is, right? Chlorine on the periodic table is 35.45. 35.45, and that's grams per mole. Okay, let's now calculate all these numbers up. Well, 1 times 58.93 is 58.93. And that's grams per mole. And that's of just the cobalt. 6 times 17.034 is 102.204. And that's the grams per mole of the NH3. And then we have to do 3 times 35.45. So I get 106.35. And that's the grams per mole of just the chlorine. Now we still need to get the total molar mass. So remember, once you have the totals of each individual component, all you gotta do is just add all of these numbers up to get the total molar mass. And that's the number that's gonna go on the bottom. So we got 58.93 plus 102.204. And then we have, right, that number is correct. Yep, just double checking. And then 106.35, sounds like a radio station. <laughs> 106.35, light FM. Okay. <laughs> so the total number is 267.484. And that's grams per mole. And that's the total molar mass. Okay. Now we're ready to do the formula. The percent and maybe I'll do it in blue, the percent of ammonia is the amount of ammonia. Now the total amount is right here, right guys? So it's the 102.204. 102.204 divided by the total amount. That's what we calculated at the end, the 267.484. And all I gotta do is times by 100. I don't put the units when I'm doing my actual math because it kind of gets a little, you know, crazy. So I just make sure that I have the right units so that I don't have to just plug in those extra things. Okay, so the percent nitrogen, actually the percent ammonia, NH3, is 102.204 divided by 267.484 and then times that by 100. They told us three sig figs, so 38.2, and that's it. So out of this whole compound, ammonia takes up 38.2% out of 100. And that's it. So guys, what do you think? Hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. That will help us out. And I hope you guys are doing well out there. All right, so keep studying hard. Um, chem's fun. And if you guys are in physics or in math class, uh, check out our physics and uh, math videos. You can go back to the channel and search them. We got tons of playlists for you guys. We try to keep everything organized um, just so that everything is more easy to find. I mean, we got like thousands of videos, so yeah. <laughs> we try to keep everything organized. So yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Have a great day. Bye.